Hey, Calculus 2. I wish we were face to face and you didn't have to watch this video, but this is summer online. So here we go. I'm excited to be your teacher and help you through probably my favorite class. There is Calculus 2 has all sorts of neat things in it. It's a bit challenging and maybe especially since we're going to be doing this via videos for the most part, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I still think you're going to love it. So I just want to show you a couple of things in this short video for how the course is gonna work. I kind of simplified and streamlined it because there is a lot to do. We're taking a six week, 16 week course and we're pushing it into eight weeks. And so I, I expect between the videos and the assignments, you're gonna be spending a couple hours a day on it for our eight weeks. And that's okay because what could you do better with your time uh, other than maybe play pickleball, which is a bit of an addiction that I have. Though uh, we can talk about that some other time. I'm gonna share my screen with you. And I'm going to take you to our homepage <clears throat> on Canvas. So what you can see, you've probably worked through Canvas before, is um, there's a course overview, which is telling you all about uh, what is kind of in the content of Calculus 2. But then how is this going to work? Like, um, how are you going to do your assignments? Where are the different assignments? What problem numbers? What's the textbook? It's just a whole bunch of information. And a lot of that, you can just click on the syllabus and you can find that information uh, there. So you can see we've got uh, contact information. We will have a, a tutor available this month uh, and next, and that's Constance Taylor. So you can contact her. You can contact me for some extra help. You can see we've got our textbook here, and then you can read through um, how to connect with us and what is in the course. But primarily what I wanna direct you to is uh, what I think is the best um, organized part of the class, and that is the most important document for the course, the assignment calendar. So if you click on that, you get taken to this Google Sheet. And the great thing about this Google Sheet is you can see basically there's five days, five weekdays in a week. And so we just had to take a section every day in order to get the content covered for this class. And um, and take a look at it. So what, what I did was instead of assigning maybe 10 to 12 problems, which I would do typically in a full semester, I reduced this to like five problems, five-ish problems, uh, depending on the difficulty um, per assignment. So you have less problems to do, but it's pretty important that you know how to do all of the questions on all of the assignments. I also didn't pick some of the problems like from the ends of sections that are maybe extended problems. Um, and applications. I, I do love those problems, but in a course like this, I want to make sure that you have the basic skills. So you can see that, that for example, week one, we're going to go through section 6.2 through 6.6 .6 in the book. And so essentially, there's a section every day. What you're going to do is you're going to watch the primary video, which is just an introduction to the idea with maybe a problem or two as an example. And then what I also have is supplemental videos because it seems like sometimes sometimes people see the idea and then they can just do it, all the problems that are assigned. And other times it's like, no, I need to see a few more problems. So I've got some supplemental videos um, that you're free to watch, but you definitely should watch the primary video, read the textbook. And then if you need the supplemental videos, look through those and then work through the problems just on paper. And then you can take pictures of that. I use, uh, I think Adobe Scan is the app on my phone. You can just take pictures and then it will take all of those pictures and embed them into a single PDF. And you can turn those in. What you can see here, if you go back to the website and the modules page, on the modules page, <clears throat> you see week one, section 6.2, which we just saw the problem numbers for. Um, it's due on June 8th. It's sort of assigned on, say, the Monday of that first week, June 6th. And all you do is you just go in here to 6.2. And for you, you would just submit a file upload of those problems that you did. It's going to be really, really simple. And it's essentially a section a day. And so you've got week one, you've got week two, week three, week four, week five. I, I haven't quite filled out the rest of the problem sets, but we're all already into week six with all of the problem sets. All the videos are finished and ready for you. You can work ahead if you want to. That's good news. Also, for time purposes, we just have one midterm exam. Uh, it's on the 27th of June from 7 to 9 p.m. 
and it's via Zoom, make sure that you have a camera. That camera needs to be able to be pointed at your hands while you're taking that exam. And uh, I picked an evening um, two hour segment because I thought that would be <clears throat> more than enough time. Um, but also I know that people work. So make sure that you get to your calendar and set this 27th aside that evening to take that exam. And then the final exam, there's two exams. The final exam is gonna be on the 29th of July from seven to 9 p.m. So really uh, work hard to put those on your calendar and make sure that you can be there. Other than that, I think the course is pretty straightforward. It's simply assignments driven by videos. And then if you need some extra help, shoot me an email, shoot Constance, our tutor, an email, um, and we'll see what we can do for that uh, individually. And if I need to make some additional videos, maybe, um, maybe some like office hour videos, I don't know when everybody can meet for office hours. So I don't know if that uh, a single uh, time for office hours is going to be good or just sort of like submitting questions and then I can make a video over those questions and that would count for office hours. We'll, we'll see, uh, retain some flexibility so that we can serve you in the best way possible. Uh, but take a look at the course overview. Um, there's a meet my professor page. You can get to know me a little bit if you'd like. And I'm uh, looking forward to working with you. Let's get started as soon as possible. And I will hopefully connect with you soon.